Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports have dropped some absolutely incredible upgrade packs and they have insane pack weight. That's what I want to talk about today is the upgrade packs that we saw yesterday. They're some of the best that we have seen during the entire team of the season promo and the pack weight is there to back it up. It is going to be a very fun week of League One Tots just because of these packs and how much they give out. You see the Tots counter has gone up by eight team of the season cards. I packed eight Tots cards yesterday. None of them super duper insane, but they're just popping from these packs. So I want to take you through how the best way is to do some of these and maybe depending on how many coins you have, how many coins you should put in two packs like this because, you know, with the packs that I did, the player picks that I've done, I am getting a lot of fodder to do like moments upgrades. I'm working on the Kuti Romero SBC. I finished Verratti. It's just going to be a week where crafting is going to be so good based off of the, of the weight and how those packs and player picks are giving out. And since those are giving out so well, I want to take a look at the market because a lot of these League One Tots cards, like we talked about in yesterday's video on the lower tier are dropping in value because so many people are packing some of these lower tier tots cards, right? A lot of people are getting Fofanas or Lafonts, Noon and those types of cards. Fofana yesterday was 200K. Now he's 180,000 coins as he's dropped off in price from so many people packing him. But on the other side of the spectrum, you have guys like Paqueta, who is not very packable, who is actually up like almost another 50, 60K. He's 1.4 mil after being 1.3 middle to low, 1.3 range yesterday. So a lot of the high tier cards stay high and a lot of the low tier cards drop because they're getting packed. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. And of course, look forward to today's content on Tuesday, which we should see the guaranteed TOTS SBCs for those lower leagues, the secondary leagues, which, which we have two of right now with um, the Belgian Pro League and Super League. So we might even see two of those guaranteed TOTS SBCs today. So we'll talk about that and everything else related to the game right now in FIFA 22. But if you're enjoying the upgrade packs and if you've packed any blues, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. And I want to take a look and just start by talking about these upgrade packs once again. They're just incredible. Like only two of them are incredible. This one right here, the League 1 75 plus times 2, literally makes no sense. I don't know what EA is doing with this one. Uh, it's almost, it is the exact same requirements as the League 1 premium upgrade. It's 11 rare golds and you get two players. This SPC gives out or requires actually, this SPC requires 11 rare golds and it gives you 12 players and technically they're all 75 plus because golds are 75 plus so this pack right here i, I should even unfavorite it because i don't even know why people would do that 75 plus times two there's literally zero point to do that pack zero none at all if you're gonna do any sbcs it's the premium league one upgrade you buy 11 gold rares or somehow you get gold rares you put them into this pack then you open this pack then you get to the 81 plus player pick and this one is like the best value pl player pick SBC we have ever seen. It only requires one rare gold and the rest commons, which makes the craft this week. When we mean when we're talking about craft, we're just talking about all of the non-rare cards that you're gonna get from opening the premium SBC. You're gonna get nine non-rares every single time. It just adds up so much, and you only have to turn in one rare. It's absolutely incredible for crafting these SBCs. I mean. I'm running out of non-rares before going and getting, getting rid of my duplicate um, rares. It's crazy how good this craft is. And what also is crazy is how good the pack weight is. I mean, like I said, I packed eight team of the seasons yesterday. And they're not just all from like big packs. I packed most of my tops cards yesterday from the premium upgrade packs and from these player picks. It's honestly it's just, it's incredible. Where's Bakambu? Because he's my dupe card. And this is how I'm going through and crafting these. As you're watching me build these on this video, this is exactly how I'm doing it every time. I bought a bunch of gold rares. So what I have is a stack uh, of the premium upgrade SBCs that I have kind of stacked up that are in my store. And I open those. And when I d get duplicates, I'm going in here and crafting an 81 plus player pick. A lot of you go guys know what this is. A lot of you guys know how to do this. It's worth it. It's, it's a little bit extra time to go in here and to make sure that you're not, um, you know, quick selling a lot of cards because when you quick sell cards, you're basically just quick selling opportunity because those cards could turn into other upgrade packs um, that would, you know, potentially land you uh, another blue or another walkout player. I'm going to turn in two rares here because 
I uh, don't have enough non-rares. But that's why crafting is so awesome. But again, I'm going to open these four player picks right now. Uh, and seriously, guys, the pack weight's been so good. Even if I'm not getting blues in these consistently, which we did right there. Look at that, man. An 88 rated center back blue. We're going to have to update the tots counter on the YouTube video. Bang. You, you walked into a market video today and we're opening packs. It's, that's how good the packs are. Inform Nubel. I'll take that for an 81 rated inform. I'm telling you guys, these are so good. These are so good. And at least you're getting some fodder in these as well. I'm getting a lot of 84s, 85s, 86s. Uh, boom, like Felipe. Bang. Look at that. Four player picks. And I didn't quick sell the players. And bang, I just got another Tots card and some fodder, which is great, right? That's, that's why this game right now has so much hype for so many people because you can build up some of these packs and just craft and go over and over and over and you get so many SBCs done. The amount of coins that you put in versus the fodder and the packs and the player picks that you're getting out of it are incredible. Yes, you're gonna pack a lot of Kevin Volland. Yes, you're gonna pack a lot of Icardi. You send that to the club. You don't quick sell the Boateng because like I just showed you, you go back in, you craft another 81 plus and you just keep going and it's great. I'm telling you guys, it is so fantastic right now in this game, the upgrade pack grind. And I'll say this as well, the pack weight, as you've we've already kind of mentioned and talked about, the pack weight is fantastic too. Like last week we were doing this exact same thing and the packs were okay. But the weight was terrible. We were not packing La Liga Tots cards. But this week, I mean, I packed three Payettes yesterday. Um, I packed like two Terriers, a Lafont, um, you know, a Noon Menj. Like I'm, I'm packing a lot of these lower tier Tots cards, which, you know, it gives you just, you just know that the pack weight is good when even you're packing these sorts of cards. And actually, as you see the lower tier League One Tots cards falling in price on the market, like we mentioned, Terrier is down. Lafon is actually up a little bit, but he was 45K. Saliba is down. Kloss is down. Ganduzi, Fofana, Noon Manage, they're all down a little bit because people are just packing them. And that is great. It's actually fantastic because that means that the upgrade pack grind this week is awesome. Awesome. It's so worth it to go out and do some of that stuff. So, of course, be careful with your coins. This game is far from over. There's still a lot of content to come this summer and even through the next couple of weeks of team of the season. But if you are pondering like Nate, should I go out and put 100k into upgrade packs? I mean, yes, you probably should because what you're going to get back if you craft it like we just did there is more than what you're putting in value-wise in SBC fodder and the SBCs you're going to be able to craft and complete and maybe even a couple top players that you're going to be able to pack as well. So gold rares are like 900 to 950 coins. You can get them on bid probably for like 100 coins less. So it's about 8 to 9k per pack, maybe about 10k per pack will round up. So, you know, 100k, you can build 10 of those premiums and then that's going to rinse and recycle into probably another 10 of those 81 plus packs um, player picks. And again, that's just so much potential for a solid tots pull from either the, the league one or the other secondary leagues, um, or it's it's going to equate into some great fodder that you're going to be able to go and do an SBC for dirt cheap. So of course, be careful with your coins, depending on how many you have, but it's just an incredible craft this week. And that's what everybody, I'm so excited to be doing these upgrade packs. And if you're like Nate, for me, the pack weight's been awful. I have not been able to do anything or get anything yet. It, your time will come, right? It, that's how it is. Pack weight is streaky. Um, and it comes and goes. So that's my best advice to you is if you haven't gotten anything yet and you're in the dumps like, Nate, this is not going to work out for me. Um, it will, right? Your, your time will come. You'll hit a blue with the way the pack weight looks. It seems like almost in, virtually impossible to not go throughout this whole entire week. Uh, and to like, to not pack a blue, right? I mean, yes, there's still it's pack weight and it's inconsistent. And I'm going to take the 82 here just because an 82 versus an 84 is whatever. Um, but you know, just keep opening some packs and you're going to hit blues. That's just how the pack weight is this week. And you can tell because everybody is right now just so excited about opening upgrade packs. I go on my Twitter and all I see is people uh, sending me screenshots of like Neymar's and Mbappe's and themselves packing like two or three blues in one pack. That's just all the crave and the raise right now in this game is those upgrade packs. So again, with that being the case, how is that impacting the market? Well, first of all, it's impacting the fodder market because again, with this whole big emphasis on SBCs, our high rated SBC fodder 
is actually continuing to go up in price. Remember when Harry Kane was like 25,000 coins? He went up to like 33, 34, went back down into the 20s last night when we were looking at him again. Guess who's back up over 30, 31,000 coins? It's our 90 rated cards, our high tier fodder. As people are doing these SBCs and as they're packing a lot of duplicate, let's say Terrier, Lafont, Kloss, Ganduzi, they're packing those guys as duplicates, right? What are they going and doing in SBCs? They're going and doing either a Carlos Alberto, which dropped yesterday. They're going and doing that 93 plus moments upgrade that uh, they can do for a lot cheaper because they have this extra fodder in the club. And you know what they're going to do on this Wednesday is that guaranteed League One Tots pack. So you're just starting to see this fodder continually creep up a little bit. Most of it is like the mid to high tier range. Your 87s are 14K, your 88s are 16 to 17, approaching 18. Like I mentioned with the 90 rated cards, they are going up to above 30K for the gold. So if you have fodder, you're still holding tight. If you do want to make a little bit of a late investment, I think these cards still could go a little bit higher um, in some areas. You know, maybe even some of these like 86s, if you can snag them at like 9K flat, I think they could be 12, 13,000 coins in the next two days, um, especially with some lazy sales in there. I think today on Tuesday as well might be a bit better day for the lower tier of fodder if we get not one, but two guaranteed TOTS player SBCs because we have the Super League and the Pro League right now out in packs. Super League was, was of course released on Saturday and Pro League was released on Sunday. And we didn't see any of the guaranteed TOTS SBCs yesterday on Monday. So that would make me think that either one or both of them is coming today. And I think that they're make these very, very cheap, probably 83 or 84 rated squads, probably 84 just because of how dirt cheap 84s are right now at the moment. They're still like 2K a piece. Um, and so I think that maybe your 83s and your 84s, especially if we see two of those guaranteed TOTS SBCs today, people want to do them, right? The uh, the opportunity to pack a Hamshik, a Balotelli, a Visca from Super League. And then if you look at the um, the, the Pro League, you've got Undav in there, De Ketelera, uh, Vanakin, Ito. There's still some really good cards in this uh, secondary league of the Pro League as well. People are going to go out and do those SBCs. So I would watch your 83s and your 84s because that should be the realm of demand that you would see for people to go out and do uh, a guaranteed TOTS SBC today. And since, since again, like I said, there should be two of them. I really doubt they would combine them. Two of those separate SBCs for guaranteed in the coming days, maybe both today. Uh, I think you would see those prices jump a bit. Also, what we could see today, and we saw this last week um, during the La Liga Tots as well, was some sort of like upgrade pack, kind of like a gamble player pick, right? I think we had the 84 plus player pick last week that dropped for the um, La Liga team of the season. I think that, that today would be a, um, the day. Usually Tuesday is their day where they also drop another sort of like upgrade pack gamble type SBC that is league specific. Yesterday we had the league one 75 plus times 10. So I think they'd do something else today, probably in the, in the player pick category. If it's 83 or 84 plus, you know, that would mean almost like a guaranteed shot at a tots card. So I hope they do it. They might just do like a, uh, they, they might do like an 84 plus pack for La Liga or League One, excuse me. I don't know what they would do or if they'll do something like that today, but I think the highest percentage chance of that is today as well. So if you want to try to make a quick flip fodder investment, uh, you, you might try to get some 83s for like 950 coins because, I mean, let's face it right now, 83s at like 850 to 950 coins are basically the same price as uh, as what regular rare golds are. So if you go out and you buy a bunch of 83s, um, not not like the goalkeeper ones, but some of the cheapest ones like Marco Asensio, I believe is like a thousand coins or like 950 coins. And that's basically like the same price that all gold rares are. So it's really not, it's kind of a no risk investment because if you buy these, they'll probably still go up a little bit more later on this week. So if you're on a low budget and you're trying to make a quick flip, I still think the 83s might have a bit of a chance to rise further today, um, depending on the 83. But uh, I kind of like those, if I'm being completely honest, because of those potential guaranteed packs that could be coming out today. So that's a lot of talk about fodder. I'm still holding all of mine, right? You guys know that I bought a bunch of those. You know, I got Neuer's at 23K. He's now like 30 plus. Lewandowski at the low 30s. He's now in the 40s. Um, De Bruyne, kind of same thing. Conte, same thing, 24 to 30 plus. I, I, a lot of this fodder is a W, but I'm still holding on to like maybe tomorrow and Thursday to sell off on, on some of those, as we've been saying. Uh, for that fodder market. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about that part of the market. I know a lot of you guys are invested there right now. Keep holding on. 
with that sort of stuff. League One Tots cards. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more too. And, and these guys, um, they're they're really just chilling, honestly. Neymar is up like 100k. Paqueta is up a little bit. Marquinhos is up like 20k. Yetter is the same. You know, Chalmany is the same. These guys are probably just going to kind of meander and kind of in the same range until we get to like maybe tonight on Tuesday. I think Tuesday night last week for La Liga, we saw a bit of a drop off um, on some of the guys like Pedri. Um, and, and maybe even Vinny and Benzema a little bit. I think you saw a few drop-offs last week on those cards. Keep an eye on these guys this week. I mean, there could be potential tonight before we head into weekend league rewards on Wednesday tomorrow um, where you could see these guys drop a bit. But then after tomorrow on Wednesday, which is the big day for the guaranteed tots, SBC, and all that good stuff going on, then I think you would see these cards bounce back like we saw last week with the League One and, and we've seen almost every single week or sorry, last week with La Liga, you know, guys like Militao bounced last week. Guys like Modric, he went from 750 to like um, 830 last week. And Pedri went from like 1.5 mil to like 1.65, right? There was some big swings in price because of those cards getting after the guaranteed people go out and buy them. So 100% keep an eye on the League One cards that are the higher tier ones um, tonight. If you really want to buy one for your team, especially if there's a little bit of a drop. And then, of course, Wednesday is going to be the big day for that guaranteed League One pack. And then from there out, uh, we'll, of course, we will see what happens. But that's kind of what I'm thinking with these cards. Now, I want to talk a little bit in this video, too, about some out-of-pack specials. I know we've been talking a lot of, you know, uh, packs, and that's the big, big focus right now in this game. I want to talk some out-of-pack specials because some of your League One cards are reaching what I think is going to be closer to the peak. Um, for a lot of these, since we do have the first gold cup that's helping out some of these cards, Jelson Martins is finally rising 400 and like 70,000 coins. What this guy is right now, and you you know, there's still a lot of people that have invested in this card that are selling it as we check like every single video. Uh, I would sell these guys by the end of the week, but I also want to take a look at some of the um, as I'm inviting some random person to a friend again. This happens all the time for me now in the menus, it's so, so weird and also so annoying. When I hit that like R2 button, it pops up the friends list. Anyways, I want to move on and talk a little bit about uh, Serie A special cards because I think that some of these Serie A cards are still kind of low. And uh, as we start to see the leaks rolling out for the Serie A team of the season items, I do think there's still opportunities to invest in some of these cards. I'm looking at Alexandro right now. He is a card that a lot of people look at. Uh, you know, we've seen a couple leaks already. Guys like Teo Hernandez, who, who's going to be in the team, he's got like a couple different versions of an inform card. He's got like an 89, I think it is, rated inform. He's got an 87, 88, and an 89. And, you know, if you think about it, the 80... The Tots Taylor Hernandez is going to be so expensive that some of these like lower versions of his card, even though they're informs and informs are super supplied this year, I'm still going to keep an eye out on a guy like a Taylor Hernandez inform because I think there could be potential for you know some of his special cards to go up or that Sancho card to maybe go up in value um, in the coming days a bit just because of the fact that. You know, one thing we've noted all year with the Serie A cards is, and I was talking about this earlier on stream yesterday, Serie A this year, whenever there's like a hype SBC that is released or um, an objective that is cool, all of the time, like the link ups to those cards, like how many times can you guys remember this year where Winter Wildcard Spinazzola has absolutely exploded because we had like uh, the, the Chiellini SBC during Foot Captains. We had the, um, during Community Team of the Season, we had the, um, oh, I can't even remember that guy's name. There was there was a, like a right wing. It was not Chiesa. There was somebody else that they dropped. It was an SBC that he made all the Serie A cards move. But like even think about to earlier on this year too, where you had a lot of Serie A cards, like when Darmian dropped, um, or there, there was so, so many different times this year where they dropped great Serie A players. And especially remember like Cordoba, right? Cordoba would bounce, Di Natale would bounce earlier on in the year. So one thing we've noted all year long is that Serie A special cards have bounced really well in like links. Links to Serie A special cards like the other Serie A specials on the market have bounced really, really well just because most people didn't have a lot of Serie A cards in their team. So if they want to try fit a new one out into their squad, they had to go buy some other cards to put in there to kind of link it up. So, you know, as we see some of these leaks come out, which we'll take a look at those probably like in tomorrow's video, because I'm just kind of waiting for the whole team to come out at this point. We've just got a few um, by now. You know, I would I would seriously take a look at some of these Serie A specials just because of how well we've seen them bounce 
earlier on this year, do a little bit of research, right? Figure out which ones, if you look at their flipping graphs, maybe aren't that up that much. You know, maybe look at some of the expensive ones, maybe look at some of the cheap ones, right? Foot birthday Dybala is up like 30, 40,000 coins. He was under 500K. He's starting to rise a little bit. And there's not that many Serie A special cards in general. Even as I take a look through some of these lists of players, uh, and I look for Serie A, like Pellegrini, is that a card that is like good enough and meta enough to rise? Probably not that much. That wouldn't be a card that I would really focus on. Handanovic, mm, maybe you would want to take a look at him just because of some of like the screeny R links or something. If he's getting a Tots card, Insigne would be a card that you'd maybe want to focus on as a really cheap left mid. He's already up though, right? He was he was 52K. Now look, he's, he's 59, 60K. So he started to rise already. So you'd want to be careful with an item like that. Dina Talley has already started to rise up. You know, this Alexandro is still kind of low-ish, but he, he started to creep up in price as well. That's the kind of stuff you have to look for. Maybe even a Pedro, right? Um, well, it's really going to help these Serie A special cards rise even more this next week would be either like a first goal cup requiring all Serie A players like we have this week with League Gun. It, it just has to be something that requires the Serie A cards. That's what's going to make these guys rise. You know, even a Nani card, 117K. I think that's up a lot. Uh, he was he was 100k flat and now he's up like 15 20,000 coins so yeah that's that's a start of a rise there on him so that's the kind of stuff that I would be just careful with and I think there is a couple buy uh, scenarios and options that maybe still be outstanding through some of these cards but just be careful um, when you look through some of these oh raspadori raspadori got the tots SBC that made a lot of Serie A cards move yeah this one right everybody loved this card during the first week of tots it was super duper cheap. And it made a lot of like the Chiesa special cards rise and all that good stuff. So, you know, I think there's a potential for that again. And that's why I want to talk about it at the end of today's video. I know it might be a little bit late for some of these cards to, to invest in. Uh, but if you're still looking for things to do on the market, I still think there's some entry points. So do a little bit of homework. Um, if you want, go go look through some of those Serie A special cards that still have a little bit of potential to rise that aren't up that much that you think could rise a bit more. And I, and I think that could continue happening. Now with the uh, League One special cards, I would be looking to cash these out before the weekend. I, I really would. That's the safe uh, route. You know, a lot of the La Liga special cards have kind of maintained their price since leaving uh, the, the packs, like since La Liga has left packs. But, you know, with everything else still upcoming, more Tots cards coming out this weekend, a guy like Jelson, a guy like Kempembe, a guy like, I don't know, even some of the other, like Awar, if he's gone up at all, I don't even, I haven't checked his price in a couple day, days, or maybe since yesterday, to be honest, but if any of these League One specials are starting, yeah, he's up, right? So maybe I would start to cash those out if you still have any of those, and if you held through with your, your investments there, maybe taking the cash would be a great um, opportunity there. So by the way, Undavs sold for big money last night. He went up over 100,000 coins. Vanakin, um, De Ketelera were all very good flips. Those are still really rare cards. And what I have mostly right now on my transfer list, uh, I do have a couple of Kimis, still bought at like 415. I have a bunch of SBC fodder, uh, a couple Jelsons, and then just a couple random cards still, being completely honest. I don't have very much invested right now except for a little bit of fodder. And I'm just focusing this week on spending coins. We're trying to get this coin balance down because I need to spend more coins on upgrade packs. That's kind of the... Uh, the situation that I'm looking at right now and, and what I'm trying to do with my club. I also have to finish weekend league and I don't want to, man. I, I can't lie. I am. I, I think I'm on a three and four in weekend league. It's tough out here. I got to get seven. I got to get eight wins today so that I get those rank five rewards. I just watched pie face pull red Neymar. Uh, so we're hoping for some of that same incredible luck but not expecting it because a lot of reds I've seen this weekend have not been good. But that's kind of the situation right now. Just the upgrade grind is so, so, so great. Tomorrow we'll have a lot more to talk about with the League One Tots guaranteed, how I think that's going to shake up things on the market. And then, of course, we're going to dig into some of the Serie A leaks that we've seen. I'm waiting for more of those to come out before we really deep dive into them and discuss that stuff on the channel. But just know that some of those are coming for this weekend's set of Team of the Season cards that are going to be dropped on the game today so that's gonna be today uh today's video lads if you did enjoy it smash thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new tweet me any insane tots cards that you get that's the rule i keep saying it but i want to see it if again uh do all the stuff i said before botched outro chats uh comments are going to absolutely love it and eat this up but yeah man have a great tuesday it's been nathan fun and Count. i'll catch you guys later peace